All right. This next segment was a pile of shit. And it's actually several segments worth of shit. I'm I'm a big fan of The Way. I'm a big fan of Candace and Shotzi and Ember. But my God, this segment was straight out of the worst of World Championship Wrestling. It was russo rific, wasn't it? Yes. All right. So here's what happened. Indy Hartwell and Candice LeRae were supposed to wrestle Shotzi Blackheart and Ember Moon. And I suppose they did. But The Way comes out for their entrance. Now, if you missed the TakeOver show and our recap of that show, Austin Theory has been abducted. He's been kidnapped. He's still missing. A creep from the creep farm chloroformed him, dragged him away. He has not been seen since. Yes. So out comes Johnny and Candace and Indy. And this abduction, this kidnapping, this missing person's case is a complete joke to everyone involved, including Austin Theory's family. I was going to say friends, but no, the whole gimmick here is it's a family. They're carrying signs to say, have you seen this man? He's six foot one. He's 240 pounds. Johnny's doing commentary about, well, I'm the heart and soul, but Austin's the biceps of NXT. Just straight comedy. The match goes one minute, then goes to a break. Comes back. There's more wrestling, and then we cut to the parking lot where a white creeper van arrives. There's still more comedy going on. Eventually, Johnny leaves to go check on the white creeper van. By the way, Candace in the ring is distracted by a van outside well, the building. I, I, I have long since given up on the actual match by this point. If, if no one actually died in this match, I, anything other than that, I'm not aware of what happened. So... Johnny leaves the commentary desk to to go check out the Creeper van. As he leaves, this match goes through a second commercial break. And I simply wrote, are you kidding me? Instant channel changing heat. So we come back. We're outside. Johnny is investigating the van. I have never zoned out of a match like I zoned out of this one. I forgot who was in the match. I didn't care. It was all totally irrelevant. So whatever happens, there, there's, the match goes on for a while. It's in the ring. There's human beings and they're doing stuff. Johnny appears on stage and he's rescued Austin Theory. And Austin is standing there. Now he has been abducted. His hands are zip tied. His feet are still zip tied. He's hopping around. He's in his undershorts. But he's got a big grin on his face. He's jumping up and down. He's happy. It's a big joke to him, the kidnapping victim. Now, let me interrupt here for a second, because I reviewed this last night with Dave, and I made this very same point that you did. And I had these fuckers on the board saying, well, of course he's happy. He was just saved from being kidnapped. I can only presume that these fucking people didn't actually watch the show. Right. Because... This guy was not happy because he had been rescued. He was not relieved. No, no. He was He was making a mockery of it. He was clapping and smiling and hey! he was Yeah, he, he was clapping like a good score in a pinball game. Yes. This was He not, was clapping like you do after a good round of Papa Shot. This was making a mockery yes. of a stupid storyline, which begs the question like why they do the fucking storyline? Because like I, I I don't know. I don't know. So for, for purely for professional purposes, I did note Ember pins Indy with a roll-up. So I did c- take this match to a conclusion. Well, you but have it doesn't to also, matter. Well, you have to point it out because the reason that happened is because when Austin was rescued, as he is celebrating, Candace vacates her partner. What's that the word vacates? She 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 leaves she her. Left her partner in abeyance. Clearly, I didn't do well on the spelling bee game today. She huh. leaves her, and so Indy's all by herself, and she gets beaten, okay? So then, Indy got beaten in the tag match. She then runs up on the stage. Nobody is selling the loss at all. They don't care. Mm-hmm. They're all jumping and dancing and happy. I was flabbergasted. This was... Like, we, we talk about how there's too much comedy in NXT. Like, this was the pinnacle. This was the was. pinnacle of it's not just comedy, but it's just making a mockery 
Yeah. Like, whatever they were doing with, with uh, Leon Ruff, bro, this was making a mockery of the business ten times whatever they do with Leon Ruff. This was what pro wrestling is to people who write bad sketch comedy shows and what they think pro wrestling is. It was, it was making fun of everything. It buried everyone involved. Dexter Loomis was buried by this because the whole thing was turned into a big joke. Yeah, good Eminently kidnapping, hateable. buddy. Yeah. So everything about this sucked. I give it a, a zero on the granny scale. I cannot strongly enough say enough negative things about how terrible all of this was. And it went through three segments. It's not only that, too, but like when you really think about it, I mean, in storyline, this guy got kidnapped on Sunday, and it's Wednesday, hmm? and nobody has heard from him. There's no word on whether he's alive or dead. It's, it's a joke to Johnny Gargano, even though he hasn't actually talked to the guy in days. I mean, the whole thing is just absolutely fucking dumb. It's Not to mention, how many fucking kidnappings are there on this goddamn show? Everyone's going to say, well, they kidnapped Marco Stunt. Yeah. They kidnapped Marco Stone. They gave him back one time. Okay, bro. There are fucking kidnappings. Kidnapped. There are yeah. kidnappings on this show all the time, and nobody cares. The Mexicans got kidnapped. They were getting yes. kidnapped every fucking week. Nobody cared. Yep. Boa got kidnapped. Nobody yep. cared. Yep. Roderick Strong got kidnapped. Yep. Uh, what's her name? Zaylee got kidnapped. Nobody gave a shit. I mean, Regal gave a shit enough to go find out why they weren't training, but then he didn't give a shit when they were, like, kidnapped and not even going to the Performance Center. And then, and now, like, the Velveteen Dream Austin kidnapped Theory. At some point. Yeah. He may have been. But it's man, hard to keep track fuck. of them all. There's so many. I'm never going back to Florida. This is bullshit. Oh, no, no, dangerous place. All these kidnappings going around. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.